Good morning, friends. How are you today? I've got this great book today, and it's totally relevant to life here in the desert because it's called Cloud Watchers. That's what I've been doing for, I mean, it's been for weeks now, really, because you're just always waiting for rain. So Cloud Watchers talks about storms in the desert, and it has two dogs in it. You know I love dogs. Oh, my goodness, aren't they cute? So Cloud Watchers. This book is by Ethel Coffey, and it's illustrated by Betty Schweitzer Johnson. That's a mouthful, huh? So Ethel Coffey and Betty Schweitzer Johnson. She did the illustrations. And you'll see lots of stuff in here that has to do with life in the desert. So this is pretty awesome. I'm excited. And it has Spanish in it. Can you believe that? Cloud Watchers. To my girls, Heather, Jenny, and Claudine, with much love, allow yourselves the gift of quiet reflection within lies your magic. Dedicated to our animals, friends, who teach us so much about ourselves. Those are the book's dedications. Those are pretty important to read. Oh, and we have a Spanish pronunciation guide here that I'm going to read with you, okay? So it just gives you, it has a couple words here that are going to need some help with pronunciation. So, for example, choya, pronounced choya, it's C-H-O-L-L-A, a stickery cactus native to the Sonoran Desert. That's actually choya right there. You see that picture? That's choya. Mi-i-ha, it's M-I-H-I-J-A, pronounced mi-ha, mi-ha. A term of endearment which translates to my daughter. Iha, H I J A, pronounced Iha, means daughter. Iha. Can you say that? Try it. It's really easy. Iha. It's like the letter E and then like kind of a ha ha ha. Iha. And then there's Gia, G U I, with a little you know, accent mark. A, G U I A, Gia, which means a guide, like a tour guide. And then La Vieja, with capital letters, La Vieja, V-I-E-J-A, Vieja. And sometimes V's are like a B sound, so you might say La Vieja, La Vieja. The old woman is what that means, La Vieja. So again, the words are Choya, which is a kind of plant, a cactus. Mija, which means my daughter. Hija, just means daughter. Guía means guide. And La Vieja means the old woman. Okay? All right. So here's the start of the story. Let's go. This will be fun. Meg and Bailey were desert dogs. They lived with their people in an old adobe home, like my house, outside of Tucson. But mine's adobe brick. So they lived in their people, lived with their people in an old adobe home outside of Tucson, Arizona. That's where I live. Surrounded by the magnificent Sonoran Desert. Me too! The two dogs loved everything about the desert. Every morning, they would start the day sniffing the air as the familiar smells of creosote, mesquite, and palo verde greeted their nose. They often played a game of chase with the ground squirrels and jackrabbits they, who lived on the property. These are beautiful pictures, aren't they? So that's their house. Look at it's got a butterfly on his nose. You see it? And over here, they're playing with the ground squirrels and the jackrabbits. Aren't they cute dogs? The little black one has little polka dot paws. You see the polka dot paws? I think those are cute. They kind of look like my dogs, Luna and Frida. Don't you think? Yet lately, Bailey wasn't enjoying life. She didn't know why, but she couldn't keep her attention on anything for even a minute. She would bark for no reason, not knowing what she was barking about. She couldn't enjoy a good game of chase because she was constantly thinking of something else as she ran.
If she was drinking out of her bucket, instead of enjoying the cool wetness of the water, she was wishing she had a certain bone she had once chewed. While she was eating her breakfast, she was worrying about the possibility of Meg and some other animal eating her food if she walked away for a moment. She even worried about how much food she would get in her bowl the following day. That sounds like my silly dogs. Look at them being silly. One's got a bone and one has food. That one's Bailey. Bailey. Bailey was absolutely miserable. She couldn't keep a happy thought in her head. All she could do was run around barking at nothing, unable to focus on anything. Meg knew she had to do something to help her best friend. She had heard from many of the coyotes who passed through the property from time to time that there was a very old and wise coyote who lived on the top of the park near their home. It was said that this old coyote called La Vieja, remember what that means? knew the true magic hidden deep within the world. Meg had heard that the La Vieja had helped many desert creatures to find their way in life. A lot of mountains here in the desert. See the cactus and the mountains and the flowers? One morning when Bailey seemed especially unhappy, after running into a choya cactus while worrying about nothing in particular, Meg told her about La Vieja. But how could I find her once I got to the peak? Bailey asked sadly as she attempted to remove the stickers. Look at the stickers in her nose. See? cactus tines in her nose. They looked like extra whiskers growing out of her nose. I could get lost up there. I will arrange for one of our coyote neighbors to show you the way, Meg promised. So before the sun came up the next morning, Bailey set off on her journey to find La Vieja. Bailey followed Gia, the coyote had offered her to be a guide. They climbed up over steep rocks while following a narrow trail that twisted and turned. Gia stopped about 10 feet from the top of the peak. On their left was a small opening in the rocks, hidden by sage and creosote bushes. See the coyote? Do you need to see it closer? Or can you see it? I think you can see it. Isn't that cool? They're hanging out in the desert, going for an adventure. There, Gia said, is the entrance to the den of La Vieja. You must find your way under the rocks and through a small cave. Use your nose to sniff out the way. You will find La Vieja on the other side of the cave. Here's the other picture I'm going to read about right now. Bailey was afraid to go on by herself, but she thought she would never truly be happy again unless she found La Vieja. She had come too far to turn back now, so Bailey followed Gia's directions, sniffing all the way. At the back of the small cave was another opening in the rocks. She caught a familiar scent from a cool breeze that drifted past her nose. It was the smell of a coyote. She followed her nose to a large rock under a shady mesquite bush just beyond the cave opening. There, curled up and napping comfortably, was the oldest coyote Bailey had ever seen. The coyote slowly raised her head, looking sleepily at Bailey. There's La Vieja right there. They're calling her La Vieja. La Vieja. You have come a long way to see me. Let's see. I'm going to hold this picture so you can look at the conversation while I read. You've come a long way to see me, mi vie, mi hija, she said kindly. 
You seem troubled. How can I help you? I can't stop thinking and worrying. My brain just jumps from one thought to another. I hear myself barking and nothing, but I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to be happy anymore. Can you use your magic to make me happy again? Blurted Bailey. Hija, said la vieja. I cannot make you happy with my magic. You must use your own magic to find your happiness. Bailey was beginning to think that it had been a big waste of time to have climbed all this way just to find out that La Vieja couldn't solve her problems for her. Maybe La Vieja had her confused with some other dog, one who had some magic powers. But I have no magic, squeaked Bailey. Ah, hija, everyone has magic inside of them. You must find something peaceful to help you to quiet your mind. Then you will find your magic. That's the problem, whined Bailey sadly. I just can't get my mind to be quiet. I don't even know how to have happy thoughts anymore. Look up at the sky, Miha. What do you see? I see some white clouds and a blue sky. I love that picture. Isn't that the cutest picture? <laughs> this one right here. Oh my gosh. I see some white clouds and a blue sky, Bailey said quietly. Now take a deep breath and watch the clouds as they move slowly across the sky. If your mind begins to think of other things, breathe deeply again. Follow your thoughts to float past you like feathers on a breeze. You don't have to take your thoughts so seriously, you know. Just let them float away. Here's Bailey and La Vieja. And there's Bailey and La Vieja looking at the clouds. I love that picture. It's so cute with their little butts. <laughs> Bailey did as she was told. She found her own rock to sit on and quietly watched the fluffy white clouds moving across the desert sky. As the afternoon sun began to set, Bailey watched the clouds stretch into soft pinkish orange dots. The sky darkened to a deep blue. When worries popped into her mind, she breathed in and out slowly. She pictured her unhappy thoughts flying away on the breeze. Is that, that is a pretty adorable picture too. Look at, oh my goodness. And you can't really see it, but there's a little mariposa right there, monarca. A monarch butterfly sitting right there on the branch. By the time Bailey, oh, that by the time the moon and stars lit up the black velvet sky, Bailey felt peaceful and content. She found La Vieja sitting quietly next to the opening of the cave. Thank you for your advice, she said. I feel so much better. You are very welcome, Miha. If you begin to feel worried again, just think of something you love in nature, like the clouds, then breathe deeply and feel the life inside of you. That is the true magic. Remember, if you allow your mind to always focus on the past or worry about the future, you will never be able to enjoy the moment that you're in right now. And now is the only moment there ever really is. That's a nice picture of La Vieja. You see how she has a little crooked ear? I love that little crooked ear. That is so sweet. Okay. Gotta, this is, keeps getting too shiny. Bailey stayed on the peak with La Vieja that night. She returned home the next day, eager to share what she had learned with Meg. See her coming home? She's up here on the trail. Oop, I can't point when I'm on video. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> that's Bailey. Oh, that's funny. All right. From that day on, Bailey and Meg became cloud watchers, sitting together quietly, feeling the magic as the sun set on the desert sky. That looks like the cover photo, right? 
Yeah, right here. And over here, right here, you see the little bunny rabbit watching the clouds too? And there's a ground squirrel over here. And see how they're kind of holding tails? Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. The end, it is the end. And there's the back cover. Now, wasn't that such a nice story, Cloud Watchers? Oh, I loved it. Thank you so much for reading with me today. I love you all very much and hope you're having a beautiful day. Sleep well tonight. Bye-bye.